everyone, this is Silas Ram of AsianCultureVulture.com. I'm here at Edinburgh Printmakers and we're here because there's an artist by the name of Ravi Agarwal who has an exhibition called Nada Prakriti on at the moment and we've come here to find out more. Hello, Sarah Manning. Cool. You're Hello. the programme director here at Edinburgh Printmakers. Um, yes. Can you tell us a little bit about Ravi Agarwal as an artist, please? Yeah, Ravi's a, an interdisciplinary artist with a, um, a practice uh, spanning writing, curating, uh, video, um, environmental campaigning. So I was in a residency here at the Edinburgh Printmakers in uh, 2017 uh, for a month and it was an occasion for me to travel uh, in the highlands a bit uh, and look at the various conservation models of nature and the ideas of nature an area which I'm really interested in, how landscapes get shaped by, uh, by people and how the dynamics of landscape change over time. I immediately saw the connection between his research in India um, and he's been working with communities there to support them to take back nature I guess um, and um, also the Scottish context and what's happening here in the rewilding movement here. But rather than taking images of the usual highland landscapes, he was interested in, he said, in what lies just beneath that. Um, so uh, he took photographs uh, during his trip, brought that um, material back to the studio and to here, and then he worked in this area here, which is the lithographic um, department with Alistair Clark, who's our um, master printer in uh, lithography. And he collaborated with Alistair on developing new print editions. Um, so for Ravi, um, you know, it, printmaking wasn't part of his practice, so it was, it was all new to him. But, you know, it was photographic lithography he used. So there, were, you know, there was sort of um, that connection there. So he was in the situation of, of having to translate his ideas through the medium of the expert master printer. So it is a collaboration um, uh, in, in making new work. Being an artist uh, is not only looking at the aesthetics of the work. Of course, aesthetics are very key to whatever you do, but also locating one's, myself into the, into the question which I'm dealing with. And the aesthetics follow, in a sense. They're always part of what you're doing. So it's why a lot of me comes together in, in a sense, I'm exp being very expressionist in the way I'm feeling and thinking at the same time. Uh, and it's less about utility, about usage value of something, but about bringing ideas out which can help rethink something or the idea of nature. So all the work that you see in this room was commissioned and published by Edinburgh Printmakers and funded by Creative Scotland and the British Council. And you'll see um, a suite of lithographs on this wall and here. And these images were taken on the research road trip that Ravi took around Scotland. Um, he was interested in not taking the usual kind of photograph that you might see of Scotland, you know, the beautiful um, mountain landscape. He's interested more in what lies just below the surface. Um, so uh, these images here, um, this, this image particularly depicts the last wolf being hunted in Scotland. So he's reflecting back on um, kind of where these problems are originating from, the lack of large mammal, mammals in, in Scotland that aren't hunting the deer. So therefore the tree uh, population is, uh, has diminished. Um, this image here depicts the Highland print, uh, the, the Highland clearances, um, which again, um, some people talk about how uh, overgrazing of the Highlands when the people were cleared from the land has caused a lot of the problems um, that we now see in Scotland. This image here, um, this symbol is from the Celtic um, Ogham language, and it means power. So my interpretation of this image is um, Ravi helping the community to take back the landscape. Uh, so you'll also see a found object here, which is a deer antler. And um, this antler was um, taken from the Ascent um, area in, in the Highlands. And that was where Ravi met Don O'Driscoll, who's a ranger from the John Muir Trust. And Don allowed Ravi to take the antler home with him. And I say allowed because actually one shouldn't take deer antler from the wilds. And I didn't 
realise this, but it, the deer need to eat or chew on the antlers to get calcium. So that was something we learned from doing this project. Yeah. So the copper etchings you see in this gallery are um, depict um, the leaders of environmental movements in India um, and their slogan, the slogan that um, represented that movement. So on the right here, um, this was the movement to protect the trees um, in India and the large dams and sacred sites here. There's a film uh, behind us that was filmed over the course of 50 days it's called the Sewage Ponds Memoir and it's actually a forest um, that Ravi um, helped save with a collective of people in India but unfortunately is used as a sewage um, dump. <laughs> so my, my practice has been actually both as an activist and as an artist. The two, two terms really sort of merge depending how you look at them uh, but a lot of my instincts of of my ideas and what I'm exploring comes from my direct engagement with environmental work uh, for, a very, for over 25 years. That means I'm directly working on the ground, trying to see what's happening, trying to mm, influence what's happening, but also trying to understand the deep roots of what's happening uh, in the, how ecology is being shaped. Uh, and as an artist, it gives me the freedom to take these learnings and understandings and to see creatively what, what they might mean and where they can lead to. How do we think of futures? Uh, how do we think of cultural ideas of nature? How do we think of the complexity? And it gives me another exploration space, which I then uh, explore as a creative medium. Mm -hmm.